indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, what are you looking for over the winter break? To go to California. <laughs> Hibernating. Me with my family. So what are you looking for over for the winter break? Wait, stop. Some time with my friends. Uh, first off, not having to be in school for about two weeks, which is going to be a nice break. I'm just looking forward to see my family and everybody else, just hanging out with my friends. Wisconsin! Um, no school and spending time with my family and hoping to see some snow. Oh, tricks. Bike tricks. I'm looking forward to things good. Uh, Christmas night. <laughs> <laughs> Let's redo that. Redo that. Do some camping on mountains. Some sleep. Sleep. Um, to go to Mexico and spend time with my family. Um, to get a break from school for two weeks. Mm -hmm. To be with my family and friends. Go hiking mountains. Parents, friends, family, really. Um, just anything with mountains, you know. More tricks on the bike. Are in college? I am looking forward to getting a holiday boyfriend so I can take cute pictures with him. Uh, me and my family, we just go up to the mountains and we just play in the snow a lot. Good morning, PV. It's Friday, December 13th, and it's a great day because it's Friday. Last night's choir concert was exceptional. As always, our choir group brought their best and showed off their PV pride. Make sure you grab your Stugo candy gram during both lunches today. Everyone deserves one. Attention all seniors, the deadline for your senior quote is in the yearbook. It's next Thursday. That's our final day before winter break. Remember, your quote must be school appropriate and under 140 characters. Make sure your yearbook makes, makes your yearbook that much better. Get your senior quote to Mr. Johnson in room 119 today. It's National Computer Week this week. Hope you've had fun learning to code. Let's take a look at the next activity. teach you how to build a website version of your study guide. So the first thing that you need to do is pull up uh, an HTML editor. I'm using Edity, it's a Chrome extension, but you can use whatever you want. Um, next, you're gonna put in your first tag, which is going to be your HTML tag. This simply tells the computer that you're gonna talk to it in HTML. Next tag is your body tag. This identifies where you're going to actually put text onto your study guide. Um, let's start out with a title. So we'll use the H3 tag. It's kind of a mid-range tag in terms of text size. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a style attribute, which will tell the computer how to place uh, the text onto the page. Um, we're going to try and align it in the center. So we're going to do text. Um, is it line? Text line. Center. Contents for Best Pride app is over today. Get your app in Ms. into Miss Arasa's in the Media Center by 2.10 p.m. And you could win big. Winners will be announced on Tuesday of next week, our final day of announcements for the semester. Good luck. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the scratch card drawing. From your marketing class, Mr. Turkovich has the announcement. Congratulations, April Alvarado. You won! The counseling department would like to remind sophomore students that the Westmike applications are due next February 10th. This is an easy but multi-step application process. It starts by you completing the application online at westmike.org. After that, you will print out the appropriate forms and bring them into your counselor so that they can add it to your application. If you have any questions, please see your guidance counselor. Attention all returning football players and anyone interested in playing football next year. There will be a mandatory meeting Monday the 23rd at 2.10 in Coach Spears room 206. There will also be a meeting, an interact meeting, today after school in the media center. Snacks will be provided. Please return any and all textbooks and reading books you are no longer using to the PVHS bookstore. These are needed for the new semester, so please clean out the books from your shelves, your car, or possibly under your bed. Thanks. Ms. Sorensen is looking forward to the pile of books she will soon have in the bookstore. Attention all Biotech HOSA members, there is a meeting today in the Crest Presentation Hall from 2.10 to 3.30. We'll be having a guest speaker to talk about the March of Dimes, so make sure to be there. Please join us in the Crest Building from 5.30 to 7.30 on the following night for our end-of-course poster presentations where students will be presenting the results of their semester-long research projects. Take the time to get a look at the projects by the freshman STEM class. Today is our last announcements. Yes, yes will be helping us out on Monday and Tuesday. We have to do a little initiating around here. 
Dude, this room is filthy as all get out. This room is dank. Yeah. Like, dripping with mold and whatnot. Someone's got to in here and clean this. Someone. <sighs> I think you're right, we should clean it. I know, right? What? Yeah. videos we have to work on. Yeah. And you know what? It's even better because it's clean in here because we took the initiative. Yeah. Yeah. And really that's valuable. It's been a great year of the announcements and we're so glad that you joined us every day. And we're going to leave you with our legacy music video. We might not want it to be our legacy, but we're playing it anyway. Have, have a great, great day, day PB! <laughs> Oh.